I don't really know what to say. I, I'm like in disbelief. Not explainable really, is it? One of them has two less eyebrows and we have a banging video. Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. Just a reminder that if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the Fellas Studios channel and help us get to 100k before May. Because if that happens, Freezy has promised to do a forfeit and he'll have to take a few of us in the office on the weekend away. So if you want to see a Fellas Studios weekend away vlog, make sure you subscribe. This is nice. Thank you, I finally have a desk. You do finally have a desk. Finally, it didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to, so that's good. And now it's actually set up. Why don't you run me through a few bits and pieces? Sneak peek of the 165th floor on this wall behind me. We are having a rebrand, I think is the only way to describe it, which I'm very excited about. We are going fully fledged into product with that. So yeah, new logo new product. So we have just been to the Overflow office, which is my new space. And we've just set up a retail corner, which is really exciting. We are fully fledged into 165th floor, which has probably been my main mission since I started here. We've done a little bit of a rebrand, which we're very excited to show you all. What's with all the colors on the wall? That's a swatch card. This is our selection, basically. These are the colors that we can work with and yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier to have them up there so people can come in and just let me know. Let me know what you want, basically, is the situation that we've got going on with them. So whoever it is, Grace, Chloe, they're not my bad boys. When they come in for a chat, I can now say, what do you want? We're finally getting to a place that we have a space that the talent can come to, see what's being worked on for them. I think when you're working with product, it's just important to be able to see it, feel it, and actually see it in person and not on a screen, which is definitely very different to what everyone else does here. And then, these aren't gonna be white, but we do have Ooh. the studio track seats coming, which I'm super excited about. Uniform. Uniform, yeah, no one's ever allowed to wear anything else ever again. Other exciting bits that we are working on. Because I see some boards over here turned around. There is just some under the boards desk there. turned around. What can I show you on here? Let me see what's on here pitch side. I don't actually know if I can show you yet. We'll have to wait and see on most ones. Hannah's got a gift for everyone. Who wants a mark? Oh, yes. one, yeah. one. Do you want a golf one? No, I want two. That's though. not what you I said I need two, though. no, I want four. Oh, I want well, four. Four. Yeah, what do you reckon? <laughs> Smell good. Yeah. Smell new. Big, big branding, yeah. like that. Yeah, you probably do need to watch them, they would have been in a factory. <laughs> you say it's it smells like someone's taken a dump in this. Oh yeah, it does not. Oh, you're going to use that? Mate. Let me smell. Give it, give it a little whiff. <laughs> yeah. it smell nice. <laughs> what is this? Mug. mug. You call it me a mug? Yeah. Mug's a mug. Mug's Hey. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see you, you come back with something new. I keep finding stuff in like offices and stuff. So we've got a lamp that we found. Also found a fairy light in the overflow office, which can go around the sign and it can make it look like a game show. Like those, it's going good. We've got the basketball net coming today as well. Ollie, can I just say you have had clearly no creative control here because it is all Lewis. He's not contributing. I'm doing the hard yards at the moment. he's got work to do that. <laughs> There's no internet. I'll give it a six because then it gives you room to grow. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for the basketball hoop. So you might remember from last episode, chair gate happened and they stuck me and Ollie in the corner and uh, Ollie was all right, but I was ridiculously angry. Yeah, haven't put me there. Lewis, come on down. You can make this your own. You put me fucking big. <laughs> but I now have a new mission here at the Fellas Studios. Make a good podcast? No. Instead, we want to make the Democratic Republic of the Corner the greatest corner there's ever been in the history of the world. So far, the scavenger hunt has been brilliant. We have scavenged lights, a sign, I stole a plan from upstairs, which Ness can't find out about because she'll kick off at us. And we have ordered a basketball hoop. Why? Because it'll annoy Freezy. Yeah, do the How's that work? Oh, mate, this is what happens when you buy budget. It's not budget. You wanted to buy a £40 electronic buzzer. This looks like a boy who decided to decorate his room at uni's bedroom. 
We've made a nice home for ourselves. We're not part of other studios. Admit you're a bit jealous as well. Of you and having I'm shared a desk with Lewis? No, of our corner. I am quite not jealous the company. of your corner. You're jealous of both of them. This is annoying chasing after the balls. It's went yeah, under there. Crazy. Yeah? No, it's only for people in the corner. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Not up in here! You're gonna enjoy this for about two days and then you're gonna go. <laughs> it's so annoying. No, right, here we go. Yeah, so I'm just check my oh, right, I'm gone. What do you think about the DRC? The DRC? The Democratic Republic of the Corner. You know what it is? It just irritates me that he's happy. Like the whole thing was to ruin his life and he's now happier than ever. We have one sole mission, myself and Ollie, to make them regret ever putting us in the corner. We would give this individual a sash and a cup, uh, yeah. but Kwame has lost both, so. Just give the camera a peek. You can't really see. God, fuck. All right. Spoilers. Here we go. Fantastic work from this person who was instrumental in one of the company's biggest successes to date, which is the Saving Grace Tour and Rosie! Um, thanks for all coming to the tour. We are doing a secret fellas roast for Loaded. Um, the boys don't know we're doing it, so it could backfire. Are you sure the boys don't know we're doing it? Well, we had a bit of a scare earlier in the week, and Cal's been looking for me this morning, so I think he knows something's up, but he I don't has know. Been I don't the know Loaded what. team had your back, though. They did, they had you covered. They said I was. Having a poo? Taking a monstrous shit. Well, I was. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> One of the ideas me and Proddy had for Fellas Loaded was uh, a roast. A roast of the fellas. And we knew if we asked Cal and Chip if they wanted to do it, they would have said no. So we thought it would be a good idea to do it in secret and surprise them. This was a good idea in theory. But what I didn't account for is all the moving parts. You've got everyone in the office who's coming to the event. Uh, so you needed to make sure that they didn't say anything, but you also had the talent as well. And if they let anything slip at any moment, the whole plant would have gone up in flames. There was a bit of a worry yesterday. Theo Baker, fucking, bear in mind, he was supposed to be involved and dropped out. Him and the pitch side boys dropped out. And then he says to, says to Cal, can we set up for you, Sam? It's um, <laughs> He says to Cal, oh yeah, Arthur's doing a fella's podcast. And then obviously the boys know that he's not doing a podcast. The plan almost went off in tatters from Theo Baker. Fucking Theo Baker. Hi again, I'm Brod. It's a bit stressed, mate, I can't lie. I, I find shoots really annoying because the shit always just goes wrong and then you just get rushed. But yeah, it should be good fun. Everyone's starting to turn up and yeah, it should be good. Is this all for me? <laughs> Wait, are you going middle school? Yeah, well, right here. Give me your best huh? heckle. My best heckle? Yeah. Um, give me a fucking raise. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, they moved back. How'd you like that? <laughs> What are we doing? What? <laughs> How's the roast writing been going? You guys ready? Not good. I came back from a skiing trip last night and wrote it very tired. And I've just realised it's almost all a story in like three jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm good, yeah. somewhat happy with how mine have gone. I'm happier now that I've heard yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> One thing we wanted to achieve with the fellas roast was making sure that it had that sort of personal feel to it. All of the people taking part knew the boys well. George, Arthur, both of which have done so many videos now with the boys and obviously have been on our recent road trip as well. And then Grace, uh, who has a podcast here at Fellas Studios. She was perfect. She was always gonna be on our list. She was actually probably one of the first names I put down for this. Mine's not even funny. It's gonna be yeah, what other roasts all Can you give me can you give me one line from it? Um your parents look like they heavily drank when they were pregnant with you. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's, not, like, that's not quite harsh. That's just being me. <laughs> yeah that might be just being me. Just have fetal alcohol syndrome. <laughs> the boys are gonna walk in, they're gonna be surprised with it all 
everyone go crazy, they'll walk in, sit down, and then we're gonna go into the roast. We've got Grace, Arthur, George, and then Calix is gonna come and do like the finale, and it's like a kind of surprise thing, so he'll walk in, the boys will be out for fuck's sake, he'll come up, and then that'll be the end. And it was then my job to bring them over while the whole office got into their seats and ready for the show. No. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my esteemed colleagues, and welcome to the Roast of the Fellas! Yeah! Oh, no! you didn't have much of a say in the matter. But through the course of this performance, uh, my bosses are going to be sent on a journey of self-awareness, realization, and pain. Not explainable really, is it? I'm fucking eyebrowless. The only way through this is to drink. I don't really know what to say. I, I'm like in disbelief. I don't but at the same say. time, I think I'm pulling it off. Balenciaga, I look like Doja Cat. overall a success. One of them has two less eyebrows and we have a banging video. Plenty more great stuff to come on Fellas Loaded. Exciting times ahead. What's going on? Pretty good eyebrows. Check them out. I thought you'd break. I thought I'd take these off because I'm thinking, what's going on? <laughs> 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 I mean, wait, my son is making his eyebrows disappear. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? We did a roast yeah. and Calix was last and he was, kept going, I need to be last. I need yeah. to be last. Now he gets up and he goes, I only have one roast. And then he pulled up a video that was five <laughs> years old and it's Chip when he was like a small, small YouTuber and he did it. He was there like, if this video gets one million views, I'm going to shave my eyebrows. Uh, if this video ends up with a million views, I'll let all you boys take my eyebrows off. And so he went to buyyoutubeviews.com, bought 4,000 no. views, got into a million, then rocked up the next day yeah. at our roast and said, here's the shaver. How crazy is that? He's a fool, man. Only he will do that. Do you know how much, you know, you know how good he felt when he saw that? Like, oh, it felt rubbing his hands. Oh, yeah. You know I wasn't going to do it as well. Because he refused to send me the video before because I said, we'll get up on the cinema screen. Yeah, he's like, no. And he's like, no, I'm not sending it to you. Oh, yeah. I yeah, think yeah. I probably would have tried to pull the plug. Basically, at yeah, throwing, um, the first game was a warm up and uh, we didn't know that after a team had won. Then they said that the second game was actually the winning game and actually my team won that. And then I was being a bit reckless and I said, winner takes all right for the third game, right? And uh, anyway, it's all kicked off, another team won. So now Cal has said, we'll get those two to compete and the winning person who wins darts upstairs gets the final prize. So last week, the office went axe throwing and it got competitive. Now there's a dispute over which game we were officially scoring, and two teams are claiming they won. That means it's up to Freezy to settle it. There's a lot of angry piggies today. Um, so I said, look, the only way to settle this is a dartboard, a dart game. So a game of darts, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> dart. And so I'm excited to see how this cooks. And the winner gets what? Is the free lunch. A free lunch, okay. And after we spun the wheel to determine who would represent each team, Will and Aiden stepped up to the Oki. It's a nine dot challenge, so we'll go no, three, 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 like that. Will, right. I've got a bit of advice. Keep no! Oh, yeah. He's my team! He's my team! He's my team. Move out of the way so you don't get hit. Keep your body still. Oh, right, 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 right. And after six darts, Will had scored 92 points and Aiden 25. Things weren't looking too good, but one final visit to the Oki and one big treble needed. He needs a you triple. Need a you need a 20. Chuck it, Aiden. Two. Oh, to get it to the, out, to the outer bit. Yeah. Oh, all right. There you go. Will's team's won. Yeah. Clean sweep. Yeah, Justice prevails. Justice prevails. Wait, wait, wait. Was, was that nine darts? No, he yeah, didn't. Yeah, it's, it's, it's six darts. All right. Hey, look. look. Unlucky, Aiden. That was horrific. Yeah.